Oh, yeah. So have you guys seen this kid from Columbia who wants to look like a skull? He's 22 years old, and he's in the news, I guess, because that, uh, what was that guy, Zombie Boy or something, who was in that video with Lady Gaga, born this way, killed himself by jumping off of a balcony. So now we got a new guy, instead of Zombie Boy, who was tattooed to look like a zombie. We've got this Skull Kid, who wants to look like a skull. He should come up with a cool name for himself, maybe... Like, Skull Boy would be the obvious one, or Skella Boy, maybe Skella Bro. I don't know, something with a hook like Zombie Boy had. Anyway, his real name is Eric Yiner Hincapi Ramirez. Never mind. His name is Eric Ramirez. Pretty sure I said that much right. And he's actually had surgery that removed his ears and part of his nose so he can look like a skull then he has his tongue split in half and has a tattoo to be a blue gray color and he says he's not done he wants to get more surgery my question is why does he want to be in movies does he want to be a celebrity i guess that's working for him he's in the news he said that he waited till after his mother had died, though, because she didn't approve of extreme body modification. Really, you think? You think your mom would approve of you cutting off your nose? Jeez. So I guess this is what we've come to in society. You mutilate yourself and you become a celebrity. Guess he figured it worked for Kim Kardashian. Something's really wrong. So, the kid answers when someone asked you, why do you want to make yourself look like a skull? He said that he did it because it was a look that we all share underneath our skin and in death. Oh, well, he's a deep kid, I guess, huh? Body modifications are a personal decision and should not be judged. Well, if you're going to look like an idiot afterwards, yeah, you're going to get judged. You're not supposed to judge people, but... Within the first few seconds of meeting someone, you basically size them up. That's just human nature. He says it's like judging a woman for getting uh, breast implants or butt implants. For me, a skull is like my sister. A part of my family, really. I feel very attached to them. What? What did that kid just say? A skull is like his sister? I sure hope he doesn't have a sister, because I'd be pretty damn offended if I was his sister. He added that the surgery was a dream come true, and despite hitting headlines across South America, says he has other procedures planned to complete his transformation into a living skull. He admits that his unusual appearance makes a lot of people uncomfortable. Huh, I wonder why that would be. And some even cross the street when they see him so that they don't have to pass him face to face. Well, you're just a social magnet, aren't you, buddy? He adds, I'm a normal person who just happens to look a lot different than most other people. Kid, you're not normal. No one cuts off their freaking nose. It's like a different way of dressing and thinking. Different style of music. I just feel the good the way I am. No, buddy. I could take my shirt off and put on a different shirt. I could change the music I listen to. You can't change cutting off your nose. God. And it's said that this body modification thing is just becoming more popular. I don't know. This is just one of those things that I read and said, What the F is going on in our culture? I'm all for individuality. I even understand being young and wanting to look like a badass. But this? This is just stupid. But then again, what do I know? I'm just an old noob. Oh yeah, subscribe, share, and like.